Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to At the Park Bench. Uh, this is your first episode. My name is Matt Strom. Uh, today, I'm joined with my buddy, Zach Keenum. I met him hello. at a gig in uh, Lake Zurich at Phase 3 Brewing. Uh, we started talking music. He sent me some of his, uh, his songs, and I thought they were amazing and very uh, different from what I was writing, and I wanted to definitely get him on the podcast. So we, we got him here. We're going to work on some music, but before we get started with that, I would like to uh, let him introduce himself. So, Zach, will you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Sure, buddy. Thanks for having me. Of course. Um, yeah, I uh, have been playing music on and off since I was like 13, 14. I think I got my first guitar when I was probably 13. Um, my mom, Everyone on my mom's side of the family plays something in, in some way. So that was sort of like ingrained in me as a little kid. And... Uh, just kind of started. I I think I played like, I played trumpet and French horn up until I was like thirteen, and then I was like, no, that's lame. We should have had that here. We should have brought the I know, trumpet. I know. I do. French I horn. do kind of regret uh, stopping, but you know, I was like, I was thirteen. I didn't give a shit about like brass instruments. Like those are for dorks. And then, <laughs> well, I started. I played the saxophone. That's because awesome. I, I had I had Kenny G. My daddy's was yeah, Kenny G. In the dude, car. I think my parents had a, yeah. My parents had a Kenny G. CD too. And I was like, but, I gotta uh, play the sax. Yeah, and I gotta grow my hair out. Yeah, my yeah, dude, he was a baller. Um, <laughs> my mom, uh, my my mom was really. My parents were both really into like Led Zeppelin and um, like Ario Speedwagon and like classic rock. Obviously, they like you know they grew up in the seventies. So, so are those some of your influences then? Uh, I guess that's artists? maybe that's maybe what kind of like just spurred interest in music in general. Like. Um, I I kind of just was digging through my parents like tapes and CDs and stuff and um, there was a lot of like Talking Heads and like my dad really liked Metallica and so um, I think there was like there was some Metallica CDs that just the, you know like the cover art catches your eye. Do you remember oh, yeah. like do you remember what the ZZ Top album covers all looked like? Yes. Like what's the one with the car on the front? Mm. I don't remember what I it's don't called. I don't remember what it's called like, either. But all those, yeah, I know exactly I just, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, hey, these guys are badass. Just not even like having listened to the music yet. But yeah, stuff like that just kind of catching my eye. My dad did have ZZ Top greatest hits, and so that's what I was like, all right, this guitar is pretty cool. So I actually just kind of started on like metal guitar as like my first sort of like direct influence and then you know growing up <clears throat> in the late 90s and like early 2000s it was a lot like i remember seeing the video for what's my age again by blink 182 and that's the enema of the state yeah album? yeah the one where they're running the streaking yeah the street. yeah 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 so i was 10 when that came out and i bought that so i think that might have been the first cd i got with my own money it was enema of the state i was like allowance money yeah we talked about this one on colleen's episode episode one yeah we talked about our first albums and mine was i somehow convinced my mom to let me get m&m's marshall Mathers oh, lp dude. yeah yeah that's uh, and like the explicit explicit version and yeah. like i put it on the cd player at home and she came and said what are you listening to i was like you let me buy this mom yeah <laughs> dude so yeah love that woman she was just oblivious. He's like, oh, my son wants the CD. Perfect. Well, that's funny that you mentioned the explicit version because um, it, back in the day, I don't know if you remember this, but at, at Walmart, they used to just not sell mm -hmm. explicit ones. It was just all edited versions, which is really lame thinking back to it. But uh, Different I time. Yeah, it was. And I somehow lucked out. And uh, Could you imagine if Eminem came out today? Like yeah. he wouldn't be Eminem. Yeah, that era. That of that Eminem, that, that era yeah, yeah. of music that came out of that came out today. There's no chance. Yeah, <laughs> done, dude. Yeah, he'd be done before. He, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Enema of the State. I somehow got the explicit version from Walmart. Like they like fuck something up. Um, sorry, am I allowed to like? Swear oh, absolutely. Anything? Okay, yeah. They they we'll put the we'll put the label on it. Yeah, they fucked this it up. This is a free form. This is a parental advisory. This album or this episode is a parental <laughs> advisory. <laughs> Uh, and so I got, yeah, I got the one with all the swears on it. It was a, um, much to my mom's surprise, just listening to it out loud. She's like, what is this? What is this crap? Uh, she wasn't really like... It's music, mom. Yeah, she wasn't really that, like, hostile about it, but uh, it did catch her by surprise. So, so I, think, I think when we spoke, the first time we spoke, we started talking about, like, Thrice. And, like, yeah, that, that kind of like, whole scene. Like, yeah, man. I think we about the same age. So we kind of, <clears> when we grew up, I mean, I was listening to 90s country, and then, like, thrice since yeah. fail the academy is oh yeah dude like yeah the academy is and uh i think it was like the lead singer from fallout boy and 
a guitarist they were like opening up it was like or some weird thing but i yeah. like that was like the first concert i ever went to all those guys all those guys grew up by us too i mean like here in this general area i guess like the you ever plunkett no plunkett they were from downers grove north so i went to downers grove south and i played a show this last weekend at uh, black dog vinyl and one of their musicians in that band was there oh sweet he's like i don't know if you heard of me like but we were like because we were like the same age too i was like yeah i was like i listened to you guys when i was in high school Damn. it was a weird weird moment because like it took me back to like being a being a kid and shout out to to him he owns a uh, harvest moon tattoo oh uh, sweet if he sees us uh in, also him, in downers grove i believe so okay cool. yeah but uh, i would talk to him about getting some ink so yeah so that was it was you want to talk a little bit more about those that, bands? well yeah you met yeah that's um that's kind of that's kind of that was kind of just the natural progression that things took. Like, I think I was put on to Thrice just because like their early records were like kind of like technical, like po- I guess you call them like post hardcore, but their like early Thrice was just really like thrashy riffs and like super like metal influenced and uh, just being. I didn't start picking up singing seriously until like later, so I was just like tunnel vision on guitar for the longest yeah. time, and uh, some of those old Thrice songs like To Awake and Avenge the Dead. Uh, I remember learning that riff and like the beginning of that song is just that same riff over and over the dan 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 and uh, I showed it to like my uncle once because uh, I was so stoked I had learned it. He's just like, "What other parts of the song are there? Is it just this riff over and over?" No, I was like, "Hey, minutes. it's that riff for like a minute and a half." Okay, so let me take it one riff at a time. Asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, stuff like that, and uh, yeah, the academy is from Barrington, and so I just like I did not know that. Yeah, they went that's to the cool. times of Barrington High. Yes, yeah, I went to Barrington High, wow. and uh, that dude Adam Siska. Um, we have like a bunch of mutual friends, and uh, I think he's in a new band called Football Head. Um, cool. Who are supposed to be pretty good. I haven't heard them, but all right. Now that we've plugged all these artists, yeah, I want to hear about you. <laughs> yeah, Let's plug yeah, your yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know you have some singles out. Tell the <laughs> yeah. people about your songs and what you what you got coming up next. <laughs> uh, well, I've um, I do have a couple singles out. I've admittedly been a little bit um, like dormant with it because I've been focusing on. I have like a new like full band project that I'm like demoing for. Um, for a while, like up until last year, I played in a band called Kayak Jones. Um, kind of like a emo adjacent band um a lot of like technical guitar and like big choruses and stuff like that um and then uh, we played our last show like uh, around the holidays last year i'm sorry um yeah and uh i joined kayak and it was like the ball was already like rolling with them and they're just like good friends of mine um and up until then like every other project i've done i've like started from scratch so it just felt so easy to just kind of like pop into kayak like write a record immediately go on the road for it and uh it just all felt so like dialed in and easy i was like hell yeah dude balls rolling immediately yeah so you have some new stuff coming out uh, of the stuff you have out like if people yes. wanted to to check you out and, and hear you right now is there a single that you would push them towards to kind of just describe your sound and who you are as yeah an artist? i mean uh as far as like i'm i'm definitely looking toward the the future right now with uh, like i'm doing a I'm sorry, we'll cut that part out. You're fine. Uh, got that. Uh, I'm doing a uh, an acoustic full. I'm like recording a full length in the fall, hopefully. Um, and so, as far as like what's out now that kind of still aligns with what I'm working on, I would say just check out like Let My Head Burn if you're looking for like current stuff. Uh, I haven't really deviated too much from that sound. Um, I've just been like, I'm in like all the behind the scenes stage right now. Yeah, like, yeah and and we'll we'll put a. A clip of that at the end of the episode yeah, for you yeah. to, to check it out and uh, all of Zach's. Uh, well, you can say what are your what are your handles so people can can find you. It's just uh, I'm definitely most active on Instagram, so it's just Zach and like I don't have like a separate like music page. It's just like my one Instagram, so it's just Zach Dot Keenum, uh, my first and last name with a period in between. Um, yeah, so I'd say I guess keep an eye and on that. And then Spotify Zach Keenum. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll put thing, uh, yeah. in the the bio and stuff. We'll put those handles and stuff so you can uh you can find them uh so you got new songs coming out you got songs out for you to check out Dude. is there anything else you would like to add before we uh, get started um i don't think so man i mean like keep a uh, new new full band project it's called tunnel there's nothing out for it yet but um should see some uh the ball is seriously rolling on that so should see some stuff by like winter Oh um, yeah, we'll share it on the page well. too, guys. So yeah. if you check out at the at the park bench, uh, it's called the Park Bench Pod on Instagram, and then uh, at the Park Bench on Facebook, and we'll post all those those 
releases from these artists and stuff like that. But uh, if you yeah. got nothing else, you want to write a song? Right, dude. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So uh, Zach and I had spoke uh, a couple of days ago about some stuff we'd uh, want to write about. And uh, we both found ourselves leaning towards Legacy. It's a song I've wanted to write uh, for a while now. Um, just like what you leave behind, what you're remembered by. Some of my, obviously a lot of my influences are country, but a lot of my favorite songs are, you know, about like when this life is over, what are you going to be mm-hmm. remembered by? And is it going to be a positive thing? Mm-hmm. And uh, that growth and process to get to that point, you know, obviously we start somewhere and down the road we learn, you know, who we are and hopefully by the end of our lives we or who are happy with the men we've be, men we've become, mm-hmm. uh, or women, or yeah. Uh, so if you want to add something about that, uh, I think that's a very good direction for us to go, uh, and I'm excited yeah. to write that. Yeah, the uh, I've written a couple songs about um, sort of legacy as sort of like an overarching theme, um, but I also sort of wanted to tie, and I guess it's related too, but I wanted to tie in the the sort of um, the metaphor of like leaving nothing on the table too at the end of your life. And I guess that ties into legacy too, but um, yeah, like what, like what do you want to be remembered for as, you know, as a, as a person, as a son, brother, father, whatever. Um, friend. Yeah. Friend, whatever. Yeah. And just um, also like making sure that you've, done everything you could to satisfy yourself to at the end um because live once yeah and because you you have a legacy inside you too and like what do you want to remember yourself as if you're looking back on your on your life at the end of it and just making sure that you know you checked all those metaphorical boxes and everything and you know yeah, happy with the life you lived yeah it's a tale as old as time i mean like living without regret or anything like that but um, we mm-hmm. wanted to kind of tie in both uh, both topics as part of each other. So yeah, no, I think uh, I know I have some lines um, that I'm that I've written over the years that will fit very well with this. Uh, but I know you came up with some guitar mm-hmm. already and some uh, lyrics. So yeah, if you want to play that, yeah. and we'll see where we're at there and reevaluate. Sweet. Yeah. Just Thanks, do Gabby. a verse for now. Yeah, we'll just do the verse. This is straight. Okay, do do you have volume coming from this? Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, this is what the general outline what I have so far. How can I leave the rest of my Taking stock of what I made, what I'm taking, and what I left behind. There's so much on the table, never ready to leave. And time doesn't give a shit, he takes aimlessly. And then just probably go into a chorus from there. Yeah, you think? Yeah. That's the that's my gut. No, I love it. Yeah, I think that's great. Uh, this is screaming full band production to me. Acoustic oh, yeah. and vocal main. But I've always got something on. in mind for that. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, definitely, hundred uh, percent. Yeah, uh, I kind of initially just like I don't really like doing like formal pre-choruses a lot of the time. Like mm-hmm. in in place of that, you can all you could just have the uh, the like the rhythm of the words on the last verse line sort of like stretch out. So, yeah. Like alluding to something new, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The only so, questions I I'm thinking about, like I I love it. I like the direction, love the sound. Um, yeah. I have a lot of ideas running through my head right now. Um, would be either extending, like we can just go right into the chorus. I think I think you know, yeah. get right to the meat and potatoes, yeah, and then maybe like expand a little bit more, like build like a a long story, longer story yeah. as we go, and maybe longer verses in the second or a bridge or something. Yeah. Um, when you were singing it, I really liked that. Uh, I don't know if you intended to do it, but 
that last line. Uh, so you said he, so I'm assuming you mean time, since that's the first line. Yeah, I uh, I've just thought about like I've I've always heard the term of like you know people refer to time as like father time. Yeah. Um, and uh, just thinking about uh, time just being like, I mean, because really that's the one thing that's like that's like controlling us that we have no say in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so I've always it's thought a great about, teacher. Yeah, I've always thought about time to time being a god of sorts. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, as opposed to like a deity up there, like really time is the, is the thing that's pulling all the strings pretty it's much. It's really the only thing we own. Yeah. Like, so. like we only have time Yeah. and that time runs out and whatever you've accumulated in this life. Yeah. Once the time's gone. And yeah, and you don't know, and you have no idea how much time there is. And that's why I always thought of it as like a guy being like, no, you, you get less, you get more at this person. Gets, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's so, just an interesting yeah. imagery. I never yeah, thought about yeah, it. Like yeah. That. Yeah. So. Uh, so, but I do like that last line. And I think that it's a really cool play on words where he takes aim. Wesley. Yeah. You know, kind of like he's that he's taking aim. He's, yeah. he's like, he's taking aim, but he doesn't, there's no discriminating at all. Yeah. It's not that's the thing. Yeah. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. Can you can you sing it with that pause in there? You think? Yeah. Let's try it. To kind of really hammer home that. Separate the he aim takes and, aim and the listly. Listly. Yeah. Let's see. Um, it's a cool plan. Where it's almost like a little hook in the verse. I love that. I'm just gonna start from the second half of yeah. it. Yeah. Let's see. There's so much on the table. Never ready. Doesn't give a shit. He takes same less yeah, That's perfect. All right, like that. That's money, dude. Yeah, I like Don't that little break. Me. That's cool. <laughs> I won't. I won't. You get credit. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's great. I don't. I wouldn't really change anything. I think we just need to decide if we want to, you know, extend it. But we we'll have to write a chorus first to see what. Yeah. What we think of that. Yeah. Um, so how would you think we should do? You want to take the first verse, and I'll take the second. And That's, that was my initial thought. And I, try to write it in a sense that we can both individually sing it. Yes. But then that, we can also do it together. Yeah, that was my initial thought. Is um, the the for, when I when I think of like duets and like just duo stuff, um, a lot of the time it's like just two different but interrelated stories being told, you know, like the, the first verse is person A's story. The second verse is person B's story. Like we just both have like different takes on the same theme, you know, and we got different voices too. So that's going to yeah. be really cool. Yeah. And so I think it's like, there's an, and there'll be like a little bit of like musical interlude between the chorus and the second verse to sort of like preface that something is that, you know, preface that you're coming next. You know what I mean? Um, and then, uh yeah either uh either the same chorus or a b chorus i think would be really cool because the as long as some component of the chorus is similar like my like chorus a melody should be a little similar to chorus b melody it doesn't necessarily mean the words have to be yeah. the same right like just as long as it's like you can tell like there's something there's some sort of like melodic overlap um, for listeners to be like, oh, okay, this is... And I'm sure there's a cool way yeah. at the end, too, if, like, the last chorus, we can kind of piece them together. Yeah. Like, you yeah. could do a line, and then if I can do a line that's similar but mm-hmm. fits with that chorus, yeah, you could do a line, I could do a line, you could do a line, and then we can, the last line can be the same. Yeah. We yeah, that's that what together, I was thinking is... And if, then if, you if do, like, the, a little melodic outro or an outro lyrically. Um, yeah. So yeah. I was thinking maybe, like the like if the if the first and second chorus are different maybe that final line should still be the same yeah. or something to yeah, tie definitely. it together just some something to tie both choruses together it could be anything really mm-hmm. but um yeah i just think that the concept of like a b core and for for non-musician listeners i'm just referring to like a, like a modulated second chorus or just like something what does um, modulated mean? Just me, just like slightly. I didn't get a uh, guitar when I was thirteen. Sure, I started. Just, I started six years ago. I'm still learning how to play bar chords. Just basically means that like something, something about the chorus is the same, to to make it 
makes sense as the chorus still but like mm -hmm. there are there are parts that can change but like you just want the you know you want you just want people to know that it's still a chorus pretty much sounds good to me yeah so i think uh like i said i wouldn't change any, any, anything about that verse so i think let's take a second and uh work on the chorus and yeah. then i'll work on my uh my second verse yeah and we'll go from there that sounds good all right <laughs> so we're on the chorus now yeah i um I had, I kind of just wrote, I kind of just ran with it when I was messing around and just wrote some potential chorus lines and it just sort of shaped itself. So I kind of have an, like an idea for that already. So um, I'll just go from the second half of the verse mm -hmm. just to transition in, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like to, well, I'll sing it first and then we'll talk about it. Um, let's see. So much on the table, never ready to leave. And time doesn't give a shit, he takes aim endlessly. So all I could ask for is a quiet place to lay my head. Wherever I'm going in the end, I wanna be. And all I'm hoping for is my words to live again. What's the light? Oh, through recollection, we'll always be right back. Be right back. And then just kind of go right into the my verse. Yeah, right. Yeah, which, I, which like, we have to write right now so. yeah but that's what i got what is that noise it's a train dude we get the locomotive here time from time to time biggest assholes i know man just interrupting <laughs> the hell out of this podcast dude. yeah <laughs> we put a we put a memo into them but they keep driving the yeah, train yeah 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 so inconsiderate yeah so yeah. it's my uh my verse so i've always had this this is one of the lines that i've had for a while that you know, speaking of legacy, my, um, you know, episode two, I wrote with Nick, we talked about our, our grandpas and how, you know, you know, and it's, it's funny because like we're kind of, a lot of the stuff is kind of connected. So like in the first episode, me and Colleen did a song about being parents. Mm. She's a, a mother to her kids biologically and I'm a step parent. Mm -hmm. So we kind of took that dichotomy and like we were talking about how, you know, a parental figure is not always you know related to you like it could be a, a mentor <coughs> and whatnot and then we took that a step further next episode where we actually wrote about our grandfathers and what they taught us mm -hmm. and so i've always you know i feel like as we go through life we pick up pieces of people that we aspire to be mm -hmm. so i had a line it was uh i'm the man i am because of the men that i've met mm -hmm. and i say men just because it worked well with those words. It's it's more the people yeah. Yeah, yeah. that you've met, but th that line made sense because like Rhythm I'm the man and because the men I met because I'm a man and I learned from these men who teach yeah, of you how to be a good father, a good you know person, good friend. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to play with that a little bit. Um, yeah. I'll write that down and see what. Can you play through the uh, just the first chords again? Yeah. Just the first chords, so I can because I'd like to start with that. I think if I can, if it if it makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so. My pen go. I'm gonna steal your pen. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just kind of riff on it, Bill. First two lines. First two? Yeah. Uh, uh, the verse? You have yours, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Just wanna, I want to make sure I, I have enough words. Yeah. Uh, and it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. How can I leave the rest of my time? Taking stock of what I made, what I've taken, what is left behind. So it's just a four-four line. Right? Right? 
Yeah, mine's a little bit shorter, but I think it'll work. Let me just keep going with it. Man. Keep playing them. Yeah, I'm gonna try to sing it in my voice and not your voice. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try not to match <laughs> yeah, you. Don't match me. Yeah, you're fine. That's you have the two measures through, and then so that's be the next lines after that. Yeah. So that was. Okay. So lines I wrote down was uh. I don't. I have so many papers that are falling out of my notebook. <laughs> you just put them under mine so there's some weight. Marco, make a note to bring the stand. <laughs> Set a reminder. We talked about it last time. <laughs> Bring oh, the, stand. Uh, the, paper, the paper, paper stand. I have, I have the clips and everything. Yeah. It's literally sitting by my door, and I walked right past it. Uh, <laughs> so my lines that I have is, I'm the man I am because of the men I met yeah. and the people that I will never forget. Mm -hmm. I think that'll work. I mean, there'll be a little bit more pauses in there, Yeah. but I'm okay with that. Pauses are good. You don't want things to get too... You want some breathing room, I think. Yeah, and I can, like... I can build the... like. So you have a lot in the first, and you kind of have it a little stripped down in the second, I believe, from yeah. what I was hearing. For, so uh, so we can flip it. Like, I can come in and have a little bit more space yeah, and then make it a little bit more wordy. Yeah. And uh, I know we talked about doing, not doing a pre-chorus, but I, I do ha I do like the way that last line mm -hmm. will, I think, work yeah. for, for what we've got so far. So can you just uh, so go through the whole thing again, and then I'll come in and sing these again. Okay, so just play my verse and chorus again? Yeah, you just play the guitar for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then on the next break you'll teach me the chords and I will be able okay, to play. Okay, so it. I'll yeah. play it as if you were as if you were singing. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing it. Okay. Um let me give you like two two passes first before you come in. Yeah. Okay. Talk it though. I want to try to sing it. Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. important for you to actually maybe do it, like really project that. I know. I was just really trying to get the time. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to get the time done. Really. Just riffing. Yeah, that's not far off. The men that I met. Yeah, there we go. And the people I won't ever forget. Because of the man that I've been And the people I won't ever forget Is that right. comfortable for you? Yeah, no. I'm, yeah, that sounds good. I just didn't do my own. I must have played five shows. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying yeah, to be yeah, careful. For, yeah, it's understandable. For sure. um, all right, so I think that's fine. All right, so uh, learned uh, learned the chords. So I got my verse. I have some more lines that I'm gonna play for you. Uh, right now, once I grab my guitar, where did I put my pick? Put it back in my pocket. Here's your pen. Oh, here's your pen. Guys, in case you're wondering, it's like a hundred degrees right now. It's not that bad. He's lying. It's like 85. <laughs> Do you want my keys down as a weight? Maybe. 
Got to bring the stand next time. I can get my foot there, too. learned it yeah that's the whole concept of the podcast you guys yeah exactly for the chorus i think like we talked about before um having two parts but very similar parts mm -hmm. so i wrote um some lines that maybe are a little bit more country <laughs> yeah i'm down with that yeah. uh but they, they keep the same intro line and then also uh it's kind of mix it up a little bit and uh so i'm gonna actually practice that because i didn't practice it so <laughs> right, give me a right. second We'll bring those out. I'll tell you the lines. I'll play them. And then uh, we'll have two verses done, two choruses done, and then we'll uh, write the last chorus and yeah. hopefully play it for everybody. Yep. All right. So we short up that verse. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I took your lyrics from the chorus, which to remind everybody, is so all I could ask for is a quiet place to lay my head. Wherever I'm going in the end, I want to be exhausted. All I'm hoping for is my words to live again through recollection will always be right back. So I took that. I love that that first line. So I asked for is a quiet place. So I kept that in there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and to lay my head. I like that part. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I added to that uh, while well, learned from my past, which rhymes with the, the head. Yep. And then uh, when you said uh, whenever I'm going to end, I change that until I reach my end. Kind of mm -hmm. like a progressive thought on that mm -hmm. uh, chorus line. Like the end becomes my end. Yeah. Right. You know, and I think, you know, we, it's just, it's such a poetic line. I like that so much because like a lot of times, like that's what you do at night. You like, you kind of lay down in the quiet, you decompress, you think about what happened that day. You think about your past, what's yeah. going on and you constantly growing and evolving in those moments. Or when you kind of do them, do it the most. Yeah. You know, when you're right, when you're trying to go to sleep. It always, that's why yeah. I was up till yeah. 4 a.m. yesterday. <laughs> I just thought that's uh, when all the existential thoughts. Yeah. Were if anybody in. wants to be on the podcast and it's like two in the morning and you want to text me, I'm up. <laughs> yeah. Send me a message. <laughs> um, and I really like the line about being exhausted, like at the end of your life, because that is also very poetic. It's like I've given all of me yeah. to my existence and yeah. the people. So the only thing I added in there is like happy, which mm -hmm. I think is just another way to progress from what you said. Sure, yeah. I hope to end up there happy and exhausted. Um, and then I changed the last line up with, uh, to, with no regrets and nothing left unsaid. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that's cool. That's I played through it a few it. times. I think I'm confident enough to do it right now. Okay. So I'll, I'll give you guys that verse and chorus. And then I think, so what do you, for the last, excuse me. For the last chorus, I think we spoke about it before, but I think we should try to slam those together 
both those choruses. Sure. And do like an elongated chorus. Just first and second, right back. Like we'll back just back, back and forth. You'll sing a line, I'll sing a line, you sing a line, I'll sing a line. Or like that, we'll have to see how it. We'll, yeah. We'll have to look at the lines side by side. Be like, that'll fit there. That'll yeah. fit there. And we'll know whose line is whose. Yeah. And then they just people just we'll just sing those lines, mm -hmm. and then hopefully here shortly you'll get a, a full performance of the whole song. Yeah. But let me go through and sing through my verse and chorus. And uh, we'll go from there. Do you want me to play guitar with you? Sure. It's kind of as a back. As you a still back have your keys? Seat. I get your keys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bring the stand. Yeah, we're improvising here. I'm putting it on the podcast as much as because I'm going to watch the podcast yeah. and I'm going to remember. <laughs> That's your reminder, yeah, to, to yourself. To, it was funny, Colleen's episode, we were like, she's like, write that down. And I was like, yeah. And I went to go write it down. Yeah. She's like, I'm kidding. And I'm like, well, it's recorded. Yeah. So, so we, we got it. It's, yeah. it's all written down. You're never going to forget now. Are you going to forget the two or three episodes between before this one comes out, though? <laughs> That's the thing. That's yeah. the catch. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> We'll hear it while you're editing it. So you can text me every time you hear it in the editing process. Yeah. Hey, put the stand in your truck. Confident. Yeah. It was like, yeah. I remember the lyrics that I wrote 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Let's start that over. Hey, man. That's the man that I am. All right, yeah. We'll just start. I won't play through the chords. Just try that. Sure. The man that I am. Of the man that I met. And the people I won't ever forget. Trying to find the words to describe. I've learned the memories, babe. Time takes him. So all that I ask for is a quiet place to lay my head. Well, I'll learn from my past until I reach my end. Oh, to wind up there. Happy and exhausted With no regrets With nothing left unsaid And then whatever we so want to do there instrumentally kinda, to get back in there Yeah, yeah, yeah I have yeah, to yeah, work yeah. on it, but I think yeah. Instrumental break, maybe some chords we haven't used yet Yeah, um, that's on you, bro <laughs> I'll, I'll take care of it you know? teach them to me so I can yeah, learn them I'll take care of it Yeah, I, uh It's one of my favorite things about this. One, number one, is getting to write with people. Yeah. It's giving me a space every week to write, or every other week. Whenever yeah. we do it, sometimes twice a day, it's just, right, I've never written a song like this before. Yeah. And it's like, it's, Nick's episode is very similar. He's very, you know, he reminds me a lot of like the singer songwriters, like very folky kind of yeah. styles. And so it's like really opening me up. And, but it's also playing guitar yeah. with somebody because I'm still very new to the whole thing. So yeah, it's just, just putting you on. I love stuff. this. Yeah, I love this. Yeah. I love this process so much. Yeah, and I sure. just, I'm so happy. This is awesome. I'm, I'm so stoked. I think we need to, um, do you want to play with some instrumental chords? Let's see if we can get some instrumentals. Since we have the lyrics that we're probably going to use for the chorus, we just got to mash them together. Let's kind of see where we'd want to go with that melodically there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'll let you take the, the helm on that. Sure. Sounds good. Um, let's see. And I think too. Did you did you like? I think it might be a good idea to like when we. There seems to be a lot of strumming going on here, and we, we've discussed the full band thing. It might be cool to bring that melodically back down a little bit more, you know, to like single strums almost. Yep. Like very broken down, maybe like a little bit of kick and a little just bit dynamically of like, different. Yeah, just yep. bring it down and kind of just hammer that message home that we have in the choruses. Mm -hmm. So just that in mind, if we're gonna go through the chords yeah. and maybe find a way to bring it back. 
uh, nicely. Yeah, I think it'd be beautiful, like with a. I've always loved acoustic solos. Uh huh. Like not electric. We obviously have electric in the song, but like maybe this part would be more like whimsical. Whimsical, okay. Yeah, with like a little nice acoustic. Like I have like a. I think it's Revolution. They always have like the uh, acoustic uh, solos in there that I really like. Hmm. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted by my shirt constantly getting caught on a staple. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about your back sweat. No, no. I'm actually I'm fairly dry. I'm um, not. <laughs> but the dude, I just ripped the staple out, broke it, and then pushed it in with the bottle opener on my keychain, and it's still the elements are against me right here. Okay. Um. Can you riff? Oh, I'm so bad at guitar. <laughs> That's why I do this. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to get better. Um, let's see. I, mean, I could play through the chords that we were playing through. So like if so we're coming that comes back to uh, uh I'm playing like a that we have not here or like just a feel that we haven't hit on in the a minor this a minor or a minor seven yeah like that so we're coming back right in to C. you want to come right in on that i've always loved g to a minor it's always been a that's true a nice progression for me my first thought was uh the walk down walk up or walk up from an a minor to C. okay so like this like So like kind of calling back to that the intro part. Yeah. Uh, but then just ending on different in different spots. So like. Or you can go a little bit quicker. I don't know, something like that. What F is that from that? Do you F use is, uh, that? I'm sorry. Do you use that G as an actual chord? Or you just use that G to walk down to that F sharp when you're playing it. Because if that's the case, you're an F sharp major, and therefore C is technically not in the key. Neither is G. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if you're concerned about it in that. No, sense, I use G. You G, do use it. G it's in the chorus. It is in the beginning chorus chord. Okay. I thought it was just a walking note. So mm -hmm. then forget what I no, said. No, the uh, the walk at the. Explain what you said, explain what you said to me before though about how we don't get to the major chord until the chorus, because that was interesting. Sure. The, that was um, kind of a cool concept that I never thought about doing when I was writing before. So the, almost the whole time, oh, right on cue, the, uh, whole, the whole time we are kind of like, we're kind of basing it in the minor key. Right, so the, the whole thing, it kind of has that somber sound up until the chorus. Right. Rolling around the band. One song at a time here, man. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, I just, the, uh, every time I hear a train, I think I the title is singing. one piece at a time. Yeah, yeah. We haven't even, <laughs> thought, we haven't even talked about a title for this song yet. Uh, yeah, All right, train's know. passed. Finish that thought. The, so, I'm, not to get too technical, because I don't want to get too, like, inside baseball for people that are watching, mm -hmm. but, uh, so... In terms of like skate, like major minor scales, keys of songs and stuff, there is a thing called relative minor, which is in layman's terms, it's basically like the the minor key and the major key that share all the same chords. So like how we were playing, kind of centered around this E minor for the verses. Um, that is also in the key of G. I love that lift that that, that brings it to the. That's all it takes, right? There's three scale degrees. Okay. See? You even get some music theory at the park Yeah, bench. yeah, yeah. Three, three little scale degrees, and that's why it's kind of like it's more impactful when you 
are maybe staying away for it because there's so many like pop songs that are just like a one four five you know that kind of thing mm -hmm. uh when you are staying when you stay away from that major that major one the key meaning the key that the song is in theoretically when you stay away from that as long as you can then when it finally hits you're like oh this is like there's like this like uplifting moment sort well of. It's, that's exactly what i was going to say like it's it's such a relief even when you were playing it the first time through when you got to that g mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was like there was almost a little bit of tension mm -hmm. and then it was like oh it's, yeah it makes sense now yeah when it got there so that's really cool yeah. but i wanted to let the, the listeners yeah. know a little bit about the structure of the block. We focus a lot on the, the lyrics and stuff, but yeah. I think now is a good time for us to uh, work on some of that instrumental and then also try to slam these chords just together and uh, give them as close to a full version of a song as we can. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's do it. All right, so after some deliberation, we figured out some chords for the instrumental. Uh, we looked at the chorus chords and realized that maybe a little challenging to uh, put those both together right now. So we're going to do a double chorus at the end. Zach's going to take the first one. I'm going to take the second chorus. Uh, we haven't actually practiced this all the way through yet. It's all theory. But yeah. we're going to give it a shot. Yeah. So uh, this is the song. We're professionals. How hard could it be? Very, <laughs> Very hard. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess maybe I'll... I'm gonna choke up, I'm gonna put my lyrics on the ground. Just kidding, one sec. If I got that right, I'm going to be a little shy. <laughs> G or B string, though? Yeah, yeah. It's probably the G, man. The G is the biggest culprit. I have fat fingers. It's probably in tune. <laughs> I'm in tune. Okay. Might have an intonation thing going on there. All right, let's not talk technicalities right now, Marco. We're trying to play some music here. Just <laughs> auto-tune us. <laughs> That's what you're here for, bro. <laughs> Make me sound good, Marco. We're going to mic each string individually, and then we'll just... <laughs> yeah. Perfect. All right. Yeah, you got Melodyne over there? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's do it. You good? Mm-hmm. All right. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Stock of what I made, what I'm taking, what I left behind. So much on the table, I'm never ready to leave. But time doesn't give a shit, he takes him listlessly. So all I could ask for is a quiet place to lay my head. Wherever I'm going in the end, I wanna be exhausted. And all I'm hoping for is a place to lay my. Damn it, dude, I fucked up the lyrics. Dude, just cut it. Ah, I'm making it right now. 
Fucked it up now too. Keep going. The man that I am. <laughs> the man that I'm in. The man the people. I won't ever forget. Trying to find the words to describe what I learned. And mistakes I made. All I ask for is a place to lay my head. I learn from the past till I meet my end. Hope to wind up there being exhausted. Dude, we are all over the place. I love it. I think we buy you to start over and practice yeah, it once it or twice. Have, it doesn't have to be in one take. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. Uh, we're okay. we're going to try again, guys. <laughs> no promises. Yeah. Guys and gals. We'd like to. We really want to get it in this attempt. But if not, you'll get enough pieces of it to know what the song is. And you just got to wait for it to come out. All right. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. You want me to count in? Sure. All right. One, two, three, four, and. How can I leave? Rest of my time Taking stock of what I made What I've taken What I left behind There's so much on the table Never ready to leave The time doesn't give a shit He takes aim thusly So all I could ask for Quiet place to lay my head Wherever I'm going in the end I wanna be exhausted And all I'm hoping for Is my words to live again The recollection Will always be right back
Sure. <laughs> it's not bad for two times through, I don't think. <laughs> Worse for me. All right, Marco, you're the sound guy. How'd we do? He gave us a thumbs down, in case anybody was wondering. Did you ever think about that little instrumental part? Because you, you jam on the E for two bars, and the, the chord progression happens again. What if that second time around you hit the E, but for that last part you go to a D, and you can hold that for, you know, you know what I mean? The... And this is why we have a sound engineer producer on the set. And then you go to E, first time's normal, and then that second time around, just to build that tension up, C, E, and then to D. I thought that's what I did. That's what I meant to, at least. Oh, D major. <laughs> yeah, go to a D major, and then... So really each D I've been playing, it's been you just D over the, F sharp. Yeah. Though. Because you've been doing that the whole time, do the actual D just to give it that, that lift. And, that, and you can just hold it. Da, da, da. Yeah, right, have the yeah. tail end it. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I cannot wait to get in the studio but with just, this. Just, it's good, though. Yeah. You know, this is, we're already working on uh, post production. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's the song. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Zach, thanks for being here. It's been oh, a pleasure. Sure. I said I loved your music from the moment I heard it, and I'm so happy to get you on here. Dude, and, always uh, a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Of course, man. Thanks for uh, coming back to Park Bench. See you next time. Let my yeah.